Hey guys, I'm back, and in this video I have two pretty unique figures to show you, and I say unique because I haven't seen anyone make these figures uh, in actual physical form. I've seen one person make like digital renderings of these figures, but I've not, I haven't seen any p person try to make actual figures of these in physical form. And uh, these figures are from the newest Disney movie, uh, Zootopia. It just came out on DVD not long ago, and I finally watched it because I, I always planned to watch it, but I never did in theaters. And I finally watched it, and I really liked it, and I wanted to make these two figures, because I, I, I don't know why I liked this movie so much, but I did. So I wanted to make these two characters, because they were both really likable characters, and I thought they'd be interesting to make. And, uh, so this one is Judy Hopps, and this one is Nick Wilde. Um, one's a fox, one's a rabbit, if you can't tell. And, uh, I'll start with, uh, Judy, because she's already on the stand thing. So this was made from a micro figure. This is the same sort of figure that I've made my uh, my Scarface dummy from the Ventriloquist and my Rocket Raccoon. These are, this is the same kind of figure that I made with that. And they're much tinier than a Lego minifigure, but uh, that worked for this figure because she's a very small rabbit, so it didn't have to be a normal figure. So the cheeks, the snout, and the nose, and the ears, and then the top of the head we're all sculpted out of green stuff. Her arms are Lego lever pieces cut off and glued, and then her tail is the ball of, like, the same ball as the hand on the end of the lever. And then everything else was just painted by me. So, the heart, this was definitely a pretty, a, a pain to paint because it's just so small. I mean, if you look at my fingers, look at this, this thing's really hard to paint. But I think it came out very nice for how small it is and what it's supposed to be and uh, I just try to get it as detailed as possible for what the reference looks like what the character actually looks like in the movie I didn't add a lot of details to the belt just because again it's so small but I did what I could I think the face came out very well and for this Lego figure I think it looks alright but I want to talk about this other one a little more because I like this character more and I like the figure more anyway. So this is Nick Wilde, and he is voiced by Jason Bateman in the movie, which was a perfect casting. And uh, basically, I really, I just really like how this figure came out. So his legs were modified to be shorter. They're still poseable, but they are shorter than normal Lego legs. And uh, his torso was sanded down on the sides to be thin, so you can see it's... Normally Lego torsos are kind of angular like that, but in this one goes straight down. Which is to deal with paint rub, and also because he is a very thin character in the movie as well. The arms were orange, and I painted the sleeves lime green, and then the change the orange color below to match the color that I painted the rest. The, the collar of the shirt is attached to this. And this is all one piece. If I take it off, you can see the shirt collar is attached. And you can see that's what it looks like underneath. I just dropped the head. Now the actual headpiece, this headpiece is made from a Rocket Raccoon minifigure, the official one. What I did was I modified the snout area here. I sculpted a nose onto it. I sculpted the ears, the fox ears on it. And, uh... I cut off the little brown part that was around the, well, it was actually the black one because I used one of the polybag rocket raccoons. And uh, basically cut that off and then covered the hole with the collar of the shirt, which worked out well. And then I painted his face to be like a smirking smirk with his eye eyebrows, eyelids lowered because that's how he looks for pretty much the majority of the film. And then his entire torso was a lime green torso and then I repainted it in my own lime green color. Painted the tie, gave him a pocket on his shirt. The tail is also from the uh, same Rocket Raccoon minifigure. Just cut the tail off separately and glued it to the back. Painted it the right colors. And overall, I just really like how these two minifigures came out. Uh, I think they look great together. I like Nick a lot more than I like Judy, but I still like Judy a lot. Just, I think these two minifigures are very unique. Uh, I don't know if anyone else will make these. I haven't seen any. So I'm pretty happy at the moment that I have these. And I'm also very happy because Rich Moore, who is one of the directors of Zootopia, actually saw both of these figures on Twitter. So I'm happy that at least one of the directors that made the movie saw them. But uh, 
that's about it for this video. I was going to do part two of the DC figure showcase, uh, which I said would be my next video, but I ended up making these, and I wanted to record this video while Zootopia is still relevant. It just came out on a DVD, like, last week, so it's still kind of relevant. The DC figures I can show at any time because they're my own designs mostly, so they can come out whenever they want. So I do promise that the next video will be part two of the DC minifigures, which will come out maybe in a few days. I might try and record that this uh, tomorrow. I might even record it tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. It will be coming very soon, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video done. So as always, like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.